ICT. Alright, this is day 32. We are leaving Cajon Pass after a very nice night. Basically most of our time spent at McDonald's, but we did have a night in a hotel, which is why we are setting off at the grand time of, what time is it? It's 10 to 6. 10 to 6 p.m. and we are setting off. So our next town is gonna be Wrightwood, which we should get there in about, well, two to three days or so. So here we go on day 32. light at the end of the tunnel Whee! on the train still going <laughs> goes on forever and ever and ever <laughs> but this train is like the longest thing in the world <laughs> that is the end all the way down here, 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 and all the way in the distance. And you can see that it is still not coming to an end. Like, and honestly, these things go on. We've seen these things go on for like, I don't know how long they are. Like, this will be going for ages. I don't think it's ever going to end. We got a tough one today. This is a five litre water carry and it is all uphill. It's gonna be, I can't remember what the elevation uh, is, but it is a lot today. Uh, and plus, I suspect that this is gonna be the hottest day because usually when I wake up at 5 a.m., I'm usually at all my down, down pants and everything, like freezing cold, it's usually near freezing. This morning was roasting. It's only like 7 a.m. at the minute and it is on fire. So five litre water carry, all uphill in the heat, makes for a tough day, but we are gonna arrive into Wrightwood for a zero tomorrow, which will be nice. Um, we're uh, splitting this section up into two parts because it is just all climbing. So distance, we're not gonna do too long, maybe 15 today and a short Nero in the right way tomorrow. But we'll see how we go. Uh, it's gonna be a tough one, but it's gonna be a good one. Look at those clouds down there.
this is how it looks. Just like that. It's raining. Does, does it rain in the desert, they say? There comes the storm. Get away. It's just crazy how one minute it's like the hottest day you've ever experienced in your life. And then the next, it's like thundering. And like, this is almost like heel type rain. Like it's really big rain. Uh, that looks like it's about to get worse. This is why I have got new sunglasses. The burn. My hands have been suffering from both the cold and the warm on this trip. So I've actually bought some outdoor research sun gloves. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. Uh, to help. The gardening gloves work really well, but I thought just while I was in an REI the other day, I got some proper sun gloves. So, uh, cause yeah, Ooh, uh, the hands are taking a battering. amazing just uh though I'm going slow and it's been hard I feel pretty strong today and it has been solid climbing today uh yeah we're so high now that we started like deep deep like desert sort of valley and uh we've just been warned that there's going to be quite a bit of snow ahead so um quite excited for that uh but it's been it's been a really good day really enjoyed it just Really amazing, uh, feeling strong, feeling good. Um, maybe it was that cheesecake I had for lunch. <laughs> Like we were all the way down there. You can just see how high we've come now. Uh, and there's some snow. We've come a long way today. More, you know, the track and pull one. Uh, <laughs> now we're talking. Lots of snow, lots of snow. dessert we have hot chocolate mix got to that is that is all for your installment of uh what's ash eating <laughs> what a night what a night check that out nice popular oh. this is chicken crackers chicken crackers put it in the wrong Hot chocolate. Yeah. 
because it's time day. It's, it's recording now, isn't it? I it should say recording. something. Go Interrupt me. I'm off the door again now. <laughs> Apologize. Good morning, it's day 34 today and we are just having breakfast or are just done having breakfast. We had some hot chocolate and it's a cool morning. It's getting warm and we are planning on heading into Wrightwood, a short Nero. Um, taking a zero there and yeah, there might be some, some snow bits coming up. So first real snow um, after the Cinto again. Do you want to tell us about your near-death experience? Uh, yeah, like there's, just, <laughs> there's this spring, this, like, it's called Gaffy Spring and it's the water source. Yeah, it's a pretty, uh, uh, <clears throat> it's a very, very spe steep uh, descent to get there. And um, yeah, still snow covered. So if you want to be comfortable this um, uh, time around, you want to bring some micro spikes definitely. Or just bring lots of water so you don't have to go <laughs> there, which is what I did. You don't have to climb down there. Or yeah. from the puddles. Yeah. yeah the, the, Poor people have people yeah. to do that for you. Yeah, have people mm -hmm. to do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> for someone who's dumb enough. Anyone want to comment on yesterday? Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday was a good day. Oh, it yeah, it was. We did good. We did like 17, like 17.5 miles yesterday, considering it was all uphill and we were carrying all five liters of water. We did really well, I think. Um, and then we got to this campsite, which has been one of my favorite campsites so far. As you can see, it is very nice. I like it. 10 out of 10. <laughs> Do you want to explain the second breakfast uh, yeah, it's technique? Just like, <laughs> to don't, to don't uh, put food into the, to the environment, you just have second breakfast. <laughs> yeah, see. so instead of cleaning it, you just uh, fill it up with water and then... Give it a stir. Eat the contents. Just like <laughs> <laughs> you're a good example. <coughs> you want to do it in one sitting, otherwise you, you can't finish it. Well done, well done. Very cold morning this morning. Again, doing my astronaut impression. Because wow. I'm basically wearing an astronaut suit. Uh, I've got all my, my down pants and everything on because it is cold, very cold this morning, but we are very high. Uh, I can't remember how high, but uh, some many thousand feet. Um, and today's a short day because we are calling in the right wood. Uh, so really excited about that. Uh, gonna have a zero and gonna have a good time. So here we go. I just did a Bambi. Bambi legs is back again. Oh, oh Bambi legs. Bambi legs. Oh, Bambi legs. Rob's just kindly making us some steps to walk through. <laughs> Just shows our status. Wow! Whoa! Whoa! Look at 
the place. Whoa, it smells nice. Oh, it smells like a little old fashioned. There's your library. Whoa, bathroom. Whoa, the bed's massive. Bunk bed. Yeah. I want top bunk. Wait, I want a single bed. Whoa. Oh, there's the hot pit! Oh, we've got a fire pit! Oh, 